Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 28 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, uh, we had just been buying some stuff from Chet there, but I realized I am kind of low on repair for basically everything, <laughs> and I can't really repair it because I don't have enough to do that, so what I'm going to do is probably head to Mojave Outpost. And we're going to fix it there. Going to cost a lot of caps. But hey, we have them. So, you know. Suck it. <laughs> there we go. At least I'm pretty sure we have enough caps. All I really need to repair is the armor and helmet. Because those are just drastically f fucked up. <laughs> I was trying to censor myself with a different word and realized I couldn't find it, so. <laughs> Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. It's good. I need repairs. All right, then. Just sign here. Doing all those good deeds for you. Okay, let's, uh... That'll be 100 caps. That's pretty good. 162? Not bad. It's the rest of these. That is basically almost fully repaired, and it will cost 418 caps. Screw you. Yeah, we'll call that good. Sir. Yeah, let's go. Alright. And, uh, now it's time, I think, to head on to another mission that we got. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Boulder City, since we're supposed to be heading there anyway. Which means we got to head back to... No, oh, either one would work. They're close to the road. Uh, let's go to the Gibson Scrapyard. See if she has any duct tape. That's my chair squeaking again. I had my foot under my ass. Decided it's not very comfortable. <laughs> It'll make my foot fall asleep. What the... Where the devil did she... She must be inside. Unless... She's out here. No, these are just the dogs. So that means she's inside. Okay, then. Let's go through this door. Be easier that way, you know? And... She's awake. I'll be damned. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, Happy selling day. stuff. See if you got any duct tape. You do not. Book. Okay. Um. Goodbye. I could have got stuff repaired with her. Damn it. Uh. Any way I can get into one of these? Let's check. There's a wrench there. I could use that. Uh, metal box. Is there anything there? Those are the thrust control modules. I could have gotten them that way. But I didn't have enough lockpick at the time. God damn it. Oh, well. Turn that off. Um, hmm. Let's just go. Ooh, I need water. Apparently. I need water a lot. Uh, minor dehydration. It could be worse. Uh, where's some water? Uh, purified. There we go. How's my, uh, H2O now? Not great. Food and sleep. Actually, I'm kind of high up on everything. Um, hmm. We'll do maze. Uh, another water... And we'll hit a bed once we come to it. Should be a while. But uh, we could head back to Novak. We could do that, but we're already heading out, so screw it. Why not? Just head off in this direction with my revolver. It's all the good things. Oops. Oh, that's a packed Brahmin. 
So that must be there's a uh, merchant over there. Or evil things. Uh, there's the merchant. Uh, what are they shooting at? Can't really see it from this angle. Uh, mole rats? Yeah, just a bunch of mole rats. Funny. <laughs> that was so much of a threat to them. Hey there. Need anything? Oh, you sound pretty. Sure. Here's what I've got. Alright. Hopefully you have some leather armor. I need, you know, a backup in case mine, you know, falls apart again. There's the words that I meant to say. Uh, no, you do not. You don't really have that much in the way of good stuff either. Probably cleared you out already. Now that I think about it. Um, let's see what I can sell you. It's got to be something. Uh, hunting rifle I'm using until I get the trail carbine. Um, rat slayer. I can hold on to that. Uh, we'll call that good. Screw it. Just go ahead and keep going in this direction. Um, this is kind of lonely out here, huh? Yeah. Oh uh, boy, <laughs> I'm running out of things to say. Wait, what the? That's a bloat fly. Okay, and that's. I think that's a spot I do not want to go to. I think there's a bunch of death claws in that spot. Maybe. Those are a bunch of vipers, and I think I saw... Whoa! Grenade rifle. Okay. <laughs> that explains a lot. Fuck. They all have grenade rifles. I am screwed. I have to reload real quick. Looks like they have a bunch of leather armor. That's good at least. Come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Whoa. You're more likely to kill your own people at that rate. And I think he's carrying a reinforced leather armor. Well, at least while they're preoccupied with the bloat fly, I can uh, repair my arms and everything else. God damn. Okay. Uh, that and that. Grenade rifles. Why did it have to be grenade rifles? See if we can put a couple shots in his head. No, we cannot. Okay. Oh boy. I guess he ran out of grenades. Now he has to come in <laughs> with his fists. <laughs> oh boy, we're doing this again, huh? All right. Let's just wait for it to stop being stupid. I'm pressing all my buttons here. It's just being very rude. And I'm just taking bullets. I guess when I'm moving, it kind of screws up that a bit. Well, there's that one down. And there we go. That was a thing, especially with those grenade rifles. Uh... And he was carrying that for what? For what? You had a grenade rifle. You had no reason to be carrying that sort of ammunition. Oh, boy. That dirty water. It would be good in a pinch. I mean, doesn't mean I want to use it. Now, screw that. Uh, take that leather armor. And just after I freaking repair this armor, after having to buy it. God damn it. Uh, repair that. Yeah, this should be good for a while. And I'll sell this when I get to the next spot. I do need health. That I definitely need. 
uh, some Sunset Sarsaparillas, a Stim Pack, and have myself a uh, Gecko Steak. If I can figure out my alphabet. There we go. Because <laughs> it's all alphabetical order. I just forgot how to, you know, read. That happens from time to time when you're... Whoa! Da, Fook! What? Da, huh? What? Hey there. Need anything? What? You... You were over there! You... What? Okay. Sure. Here's what I've got. Alright then. I will sell you the things that I wanted to sell. Now, um, there's, come on, it's way down here. L yeah, the lightweight leather armor, there we go. We're selling that, and, uh, I wanted to sell something else, I think, didn't I? Or maybe I'm just losing my mind. I probably am. We'll call that good. All right, if she re reappears, Further down the way, I'm going to call shenanigans, because <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Um, little gas station here, kind of like the one I work at, except the kiosk is bigger. The kiosk is so freaking small. It's supposed to be uh, supposedly a 240 for square feet, but I, I, I doubt that. Probably more like 200 tops. Okay, let's... Some Sunset Sarsaparillas. Gun cabinet. And some uh, sawed-off shotguns. Hey. You can sell those if she's still there. Or if she transports back later. Oh, come on. Let me pick up the bottle caps. Guess I was not close enough to the target. That's a Sunset Sarsaparilla there. Is there anything else on the floor? No. Uh, yeast. Yeesh. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I'm going to hell. <laughs> Alright. That itchies on my ear. There's another sack of... Like one on a stick. Yeah. Uh, right away. Hey, that's the stuff. Take that. Hey, it's more... Hey, more ammunition for the hunting rifle. Cannot complain about that. She's still there. Uh, no. She is gone. A long ways away. Oh, well. Well, with our luck, she'll reappear over here. That's what's gonna happen, I'm pretty sure. And Boulder City should be just up on the way here. Cool beans. Uh, the grenade rifle encounter. <laughs> you do... Uh, I've only seen that happen one time, and usually it's at a spot that'll just not as much fuck you, but it's still pretty bad. And that's a bunch of fire ants. Apparently killed a couple of dogs. Oh, geez. It's not good at all. Uh, I'd rather not tangle with them right now. So we'll... Oh, I'm against a, a railing here. Yep, that's what it is. I'm dumb. I'm not going to tangle with them right now. Instead, I'm just going to walk right on by. And hey, there's this guy. This guy is pretty cool. I'll talk with him a bit. Howdy there, partner. The Lonesome Drifter. That's a mighty fine guitar you got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Where did your father leave? Long time ago now. I never even knew him. Ma always said he was a mysterious fella, always traveling on in secret. <laughs> Uh, if you've never played the game before, that is a uh, story that even I'm not going to go into. I'm going to leave that for you to find out. <laughs> What's your story, stranger? 
My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Mm -hmm. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Your father abandoned you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> even more of the hints there. I'm sure he had a reason for leaving. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But that don't change the fact that it wasn't right. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. You were better off without him. You became your own man outside of his shadow. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. Yeah, that's and true. A woman ought to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. That is true, too. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since. But he ain't an easy man to find. I'm sure he's not. And what will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Well, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. It sounds like you should move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Can't say that I do, sorry. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Goodbye. So long, friend. Well, I'll talk to him later once I'm able to find a spot and... Lo and freaking behold. Mercenary, mercenary, and I guess these are the traitors. Hey Need anything? Yeah. Let's see what you got. Uh, prr. doesn't seem to be much. Uh, yeah, a bunch of Legion Denarius. I think I've sold them to them. Now I think about it. And... Where's those sawed-off shotguns I was planning on selling? Uh, there's one. I'll sell that one to him. I'll sell this one to the hey other there. one. Need anything? Yeah. Sure. Here's what I got. All right. Okay. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Okay. Let's sell the other shot. Shot. Shot-off bot gun. Okay. Sawed-off shotgun. There we go. Now I can speak English. And this is a pack Brahmin with a bunch of water, it looks like. And looks like Boulder City is just that way. Cool beans. Head over here. This ought to be good. I'll keep my pistol out just in case. Never hurts to be too careful, now does it? Well, not immediately hurtful. Yeah, there it is, Boulder City. I think the first time I got here with a regular build, I was overweight, so <laughs> I'm kind of surprised I'm not, considering, you know, this is hardcore mode. Bunch of, whoop, need those. Need all of these. There we go. And we'll head over this way. Bunch of crows. Why the hell is there a pack Brahmin running like that? That uh, looks like a memorial. De Fook. Don't. Don't you tell me. Is this. No, this is a different one entirely. Hey there. Need what? anything? You were already halfway up the road! Okay, my game is glitching the fuck out. I don't think it's been able to do hardcore mode. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm fucking falling apart. My game's falling apart. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, then. We'll just continue on with our mission. That's the only thing we can do, right? Holy shit. There's a skeleton. Soup. Spooky, scary skeleton. Drop you. Okay, there we go. And I think this is where we're trying to go we've Whoa. got a situation with some great cons right now the brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved um what's going on with the great cons 
One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Khans. Ah. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Khans into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No Dumbasses. Deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Khans have private Ackerman and private Gilbert as hostages. A couple of privates, huh? <laughs> uh, those Great Khans might have something in mind. A platinum chip. Once the Great Khans have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Well, that's good. I might be able to negotiate a deal with the Great Khans. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Alright. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. <clears throat> Don't worry about me. I can handle myself in a fight. Good luck. Alright. Sounds good to me. And I think this is where we'll end the episode. Once we get inside Boulder City. There we go. We'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk to each other. That'd be nice, huh? And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.